my name is Dennis and this is the latest update from Ukraine. Uh, kind of short video as for today. Uh, Vinitsa. It was the massive Christmas hour attack on that city, the central part of it. Russia claimed that they targeted a military object, the officer's house. But now it is used, it was used as the building uh, for to take events, you know, festivals, etc. Many people, including children, lost their lives. It's unimaginable in the 21st century. And I want to tell you, my friends, that it is not acceptable. Imagine the same events happen in your country, UK, United States. Imagine cruise missiles hitting uh, Paris, Dresden, whatever. Mm, Russia should be recognized as a terrorist country right now by the world community. There is no other way how can we deal with that country. We continue to fight for our land, but they continue to kill mostly civilians. I think the world should stop any kind of cooperation with Russia. We should cut all of the gas, oil supplies, gold supplies, food supplies as well from Russia. Believe me, Ukraine alone will be enough for the food supplies to the third countries. <sighs> it's a terrible situation, my friends. You may say that Ukraine still uh, has the pipeline, we still supply the gas to European countries, but my friends, it's up to Europeans to close it. If Ukraine closes it, our European friends will say, oh no, Ukraine is bad, it closed their gas supplies from Russia, and they will start push Ukraine even more. Especially those old European politicians, who do not recognize what Russia is doing here in Ukraine as genocide. They say that it's just some sort of war, but no, they are destroying Ukrainians. For today, it is Ukraine, but for tomorrow, it could be your country. Yes, guys, it was my message to the normal world, the Western world that supports Ukraine, but still wants to have uh, some kind of benefits from Russia. Everything changed. We need to forget about that country. We need to close it forever. And I wish you a peaceful sky, wherever you are.